Hello, uh, this is Larry again, and this is a follow-up to the uh, metric warehouse that we did in the design uh, system, uh, PWS. And it, when it makes the folder uh, for MBS, it, uh, that particular job was uh, DBS 010459, and just to confirm, uh, we'll find the, uh, the 3D in here, and yes, it's the same building. So let's go ahead and get out of here and open up MBS with that particular job and here it is. So this is actually MBS and how it works is um, you specify all the different design criteria that you, uh, that you want for a particular building and then you close that and these tabs right here are um, it goes through a whole design series and then it goes through a whole detailing series and then these are the three drawing pages and you can see that uh, I already took this one and went ahead and ground it which means like every cell would go in and out meaning that you click on that and then it it processes it and processes the out and then it's going through the cycles of the steel and figuring bracing and everything and then when you view it, this is the out of that particular uh, frame and all the criteria. And then you can see at the very bottom where it has no warnings and has a total weight and whatnot. Um, then on the design tab, you come up with the bill of materials and cost. If I have it all in uh, US right now, but like let's say for instance, let's view the bill of materials. And you'll have the particular parts like rafters and columns. Uh, the lengths and whatnot, and the weights, obviously, um, of the particular units and how many of them are there. Jams, purlins and girts. Uh, this is all the sheeting, and um, this would be the lengths and the total weight for two pieces in quantity, and that would be the U.S. dollars for that. Uh, these are the clips, the flange braces and whatnot. Uh, this is the trim for that particular building the amount of pieces and eave trim, you know, pitch and whatnot. And this is cables, uh, washers and fasteners. So let me get out of here and go to drawings. And let's say in this case, uh, let's look at this part. Um, gives you the clear amount underneath the haunch. And let's say I want to look at RF2-1. Um, so let me get out of here and go to shop drawings and I ground all these ahead of time meaning that I processed them all and let's go to RF2-1 and then view it and then this would be that particular column and you could see that um, it specifies the holes and the lengths and where to weld and how long the stiffeners are and all that good stuff and Let's say I want to say look at um, a girt or a purlin, or let's say a rafter. So ER4 would be a rafter. We'll view that. And in this case, it's an I-beam, and it gives you the amount and the quantities, the unit weights. And then it tells you the offset for a particular clip. And this would be a, fl a flange brace clip where the holes are offset to center. And then you just process all this and uh, and make the building and it also gives you the ability to uh, print or page number and in this case I didn't page number but it gives you the idea that you can have a full set of erection drawings and uh, and everything ready to go and this is Larry with Rapid Set Buildings and uh, see you next time